<laughs> Stop looking, Mr. Fox. Welcome to the vlog. Week two. currently rushing to bounce tracks out today which is why I haven't had time to film much today but while I'm bouncing tracks and I have a few seconds I thought I'd show you this keyboard stand so if you've seen these kind of height adjustable desks now they're normally electric nowadays and this one isn't it has a handle on it but it comes on wheels so effectively when I'm recording I can take this keyboard and I can wheel it in front of my desk like this because I've always wanted to have one of those desks with the pull-out trays but the issue I have is the height of the desk gets too high. This keyboard stand, which is height adjustable, literally something that I've been craving in all the time I've been recording because when I'm recording tracks with a lot of MIDI, I end up having the keyboard over to one side and having to keep swivel back to the computer. Absolutely love this, it is brilliant. It is made by Wavebone, really amazing. You can get them in different colors. I've gone for the black and I can wheel it here and literally as quickly as this, I can wheel it back. This week's been a bit of a write-off for all the jobs that I needed to get done. I've got loads of recording to get done. I haven't managed to do any of them. And this morning's issue is, I'm going to show you, my desk has these SSL UF8s and UF1 and a UC1 and another UF8 in it, which I love. It's decided recently to disconnect and I'm showing no devices connected. So I think the issue is there's a USB hub behind here, if we can see in there, that's never really worked brilliantly. I'm gonna make some changes to the desk even though I don't have time to do this this morning. I'm gonna pull it all apart and just get into the back of the SSLs and try, try and get it sorted so that it is all working as it should be. So what I'd like to do is I'd like to use this hub and push these through it and link them all together, which is how they should be done. They don't need to go into separate hubs. Aha, right, okay. So that is working. Uh, hey, all four connected and working. into the wood dry and then out the wood dry yeah it's taken me about an hour but you keep putting new things off you never get them done desk all finished we've got our pedals up here soft tube which actually i got out of the cupboard for the first time in a long time and realized that i can use it to control my apollos down here so lots of control We, we are in a multi a multi universe and no, i can't track yours as well um because this is for the vlog for my vlog yeah. but we're filming something for our other youtube channel one of our other youtube channels we're filming this i've just finished filming with sam a review of the soundbrenner metronome watch um it is now 7 30 thursday night i'm gonna go and get some fish and chips because i've got to come back here and i'm gonna be working really late on um, doing some more filming and bits for you guys and setting up things for the YouTube channel. Oh, amazing. It's a new camera and it's the Sony, I, I keep saying ZV because I've watched some reviews on this already from lots of Americans. ZV, Z, do you know why it sounds better, ZV, ZV E10. We have a Sigma lens to go with that one, which is a 16 millimeter F1.4 lens. And we have an Amazon package. So let's start with the Amazon package because we know we've got a camera and a lens. We have got, ooh, these are exciting, aren't they? Small rig, one of my favorite companies. So this is a variable ND filter. This is more filters, but this is for the new camera. Filters, are, they're kind of sexy, aren't they? So you get this nice box and then we get a filter box and our filters are inside there. Do you know what? I've just had my fish and chips and I don't want to get greasy fingers all over them. 
but this is another variable filter. Let's get on to the good stuff. Let's get on to the camera. What you're looking at now is an Osmo Pocket 3 from DJI, and it is fan fantastic but if you want something that looks a little bit more cinematic and a bit more of a blurred background i think is the most cost effective way of doing that but what you're going to find watching this channel is cost effectiveness is that a word being cost effective that's what really floats my boat with equipment including recording equipment you know if you've got three grand plus to spend on a neumann 87 that's brilliant and I'm really, really, very happy for you. Will it make your recordings better than other people's recordings? No, not at all. Will it make your recordings better than someone using a 250 pound Aston microphone that's around somewhere? Or a 500 pound warm audio version of their version of the U87? Or using a Slate Digital modeling mic? and modeling the U87 or various other mics. No, it won't. Will then using any of those mics make you better than someone using a 3,000 pound plus mic? No, it's microphones are great. Studio equipment is great, but the level of studio equipment that you can buy now for a decent price has just blown the recording market wide open. From something like a Zoom um, eight track recorder or um, the Zoom eye track, I think they're called, up to fully fledged computerized systems, to Pro Tool rigs and everything else. That's not what's gonna make your recording. What makes a brilliant recording is the person that you're recording, the vocalist that you're recording. A vocalist who's just blows you away can literally sing into any microphone and it will sound amazing. So this channel's about bang for buck. It's about what you can get for a reasonable amount of money because all the equipment that you see around here and you know there's a lot of equipment in here i've built up a lot of stuff in this studio but it's all very very reasonably priced so you get sony leaflet one year extended warranty always do your warranties that comes with all equipment i'm, I'm terrible at it but do them nowadays it's literally normally logging onto their website and registering so do your warranties i sound like a teacher instruction manuals i think you probably know what i think of instruction manuals i ain't gonna look at them a plug a euro plug um yeah, i guess you know go if i go abroad this feels like a battery that's because it is a battery is it battery no that's not a battery that is a usb charger mm -hmm. this can be powered by usb big big plus in which case this feels like a battery oh we have a mystical paper little envelope baggy thing oh i know what this is this is what is known as the dead cat it's more like a dead cat's paw than a dead cat for the built-in microphone all right the camera body oh my goodness it is tiny there's two types of this you can buy. Well, three actually, because you can buy a white version, um, which I didn't think looked overly professional. So I didn't get the white version, I got the black version. But you can buy a kit version, or for just over a hundred pound cheaper, you can buy just the body. Now I bought just the body because all the reviews that I saw of it said that the kit lens was okay, but not great. And I thought, do you know what? I'm better off saving the money and getting a lens like the Sigma lens, which loads of people recommended. We've got a nice flip out, flippity flip flip screen. No point in powering it up until we pop the lens on, is there? All of a sudden that tiny little camera has become an absolute beast. So this is just built in audio with the camera. This is the camera just on straight away, hit the defocus background button. So this is with no settings that I've put in there whatsoever. But I thought I'd see how it looks, how blurry. And so from there, we get a really nice blurry background, don't we? I know I'm very close to the camera. I'm normally gonna be about here, but we'll see what that looks like on film. Good morning. What's happening? It's Friday morning. We are off to film a video at Cove Hive Beach in Suffolk with Jade Maygene. Have we got anything to add to this vlog? Hello. 
we're gonna just we're running a bit late. Um, so we're going to McDonald's. So in the interest of getting there on time, we're gonna have a quick McDonald's breakfast. Oh, that's making me feel sick. Sam, anything you want to add? There's a rattle on there. I've never noticed before. Sam's got one for everything. Sam has the bulk of the equipment. <laughs> Oops, sorry. And I'm nearly killing cyclists or getting killed by a cyclist, I should say. Uh, so we've got a long walk down to the beach. I reckon about 20 minutes. 20 minute walk? Yeah. It's clean down there, isn't it? No. <laughs> it's so not. We've been walking for about 10 minutes down this very, very muddy track. And I, clever me, I'm wearing white trainers. <laughs> we are here, and it, look at the sky. The sky is amazing. Sorry. It is beautiful looking. So uh, this is our location for the day. Jade is getting dressed in the middle of the beach. Jade's outfit. Asa is loving life on the beach. That looks so cool. That's a picture in itself, just like the sky over there. Oh, there's a dog coming. Three, two, one, go. And you're just kind of like looking out to the sea. Enjoy the view. Fun, fun, fun in Vlog Central whilst filming, <laughs> holding Asa. <laughs> They're trying to hold the camera. I love Jade's shot plan <laughs> of like the water was going to get her. If you want to record you, you hit that one. And I'll swim red. Nice. Hi guys, this is Abby taking over the vlog. <laughs> We're on the beach filming a music video with Asa because everyone brings a dog to a music video. How do you think it's going, Asa? Um, so sunny, isn't it? We're it's lovely on the beach, isn't it? Just dropped Sam and Abby back at the office. A great day's filming with Jay down at the beach. Um, it was really fun. Wasn't too cold, wasn't wet, which is amazing because it's February and um, yeah, it could have been an awful lot worse. Um, I'm now off to Jesse's school because he is doing St. Christopher's Got Talent and he's so excited and I am literally buzzing to see him sing. He has never sung in front of an audience solo before. I literally cannot wait to uh, to see him do it. I'm so, so excited. So off to school now to meet up and see St. Christopher's Got Talent. Can't wait, literally cannot wait. We have the amazing Jesse Dunning here. Something's all meant to be, so keep your best. Morning. Morning. How was St. Christopher's Got Talent last night? Good. Good. You were amazing. Did you enjoy it? Yes. Um, who got the biggest round of applause all night? Me. You. You really, really did. Um, yeah. He didn't win. Judges, what are you doing? What are you thinking about here? Because, you know. Fingers on the piano and the door. Oh. What is in this box? It's a heavy box. Well, what's in it? This one? Yeah. I'll tell you at the end. No, just tell me. No, I'll tell you when we're opening it up. So what's actually in it? I'll tell you at the end. Hold on, we've got to get the we've got to get the other parcels first. We have a load of parcels delivered here all the time. I thought it might be quite nice to show you what we get. Oh, I know what this is. It is a charger. It is a hundred watt charger. 
made by Anker, way cheaper than a MacBook charger. But this is for another accessory that I'm hoping is in one of these boxes. I don't keep boxes. Sam constantly tells me to keep boxes. You don't really need a knife to open Amazon boxes. Their tape is really good, but it does just rip open. So this, whoa, 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 wait. So this is gonna give a clue as to what we need the charger for. I get a lot of small rig parcels. Because I really, small rig, I really like. We're not sponsored by small rig. We should be. We should be. <laughs> but I do love small rig. Look at that. I'll have that on Let go. This is a desk mount with holding arm that we're going to mount the new camera on. <laughs> I mean, Jesse, everything in this box comes from Small Rig. This is a new light for filming in our control room, not in this room. It is a portable light. What's it even do? It's a light. <gasps> I'm really excited by that because we need lights that really don't take up room in the studio. And last but not least, in the small rig box is it's a camera cage for the new Canon ZV-E10 bubble wrap. It's mine, it's mine, it's my bubble wrap. It doesn't pop very well. <laughs> it doesn't pop at all. <laughs> More DJI mics like the one that I'm wearing. Because like today, I'm recording the audio on the camera because I've only had one of these that comes with the camera. We sold, we sold our Rode Go mics because they're not as good as the DJI mics. Everybody online's doing reviews on them and saying, oh, they're this and that, and these are better at this and these are better at that. They're not as good, these are great. DJI, all the way. This is a mouse mat that um, they sent for free, but it's also a landing pad for our drone. Right, what happens in the box, Jess? Come on, box, box. Box. All right, it's got place in my Never work with children or animals. If Ellie doesn't understand sarcasm yet, it's only seven. What is this? <gasps> this was another freebie. If you're gonna buy your DJI stuff, it comes literally on a next day delivery, the same as Amazon. Um, but if you buy it through Amazon, you don't get all these freebies they give you. So they've also sent us and this isn't because we do a YouTube channel, because they don't know that we do a YouTube channel. This is an SD card holder. But they sent us the three. It's a DJI one. It's tough. You can stick your SD cards in there. Right, what else do we have? I mean, I can put the camera up higher, but we haven't sorted the lights out in here. So, in this box, we have something that's not actually for us or addressed to us. No. <laughs> that's not ours. Oops. Post. Don't want to open, don't want to open, don't want to open, don't want to open. No. Don't want to open, don't want to open. Don't want to open. Possibly want to open, probably not. And don't want to open. Right, lovely. Poster. In the mornings, you see me with some horrible green stuff. You like it, don't you, Jess? I do not. <laughs> these athletic greens. I'm not an athlete, as you might have seen, um, but these Foundational nutrition made easier. It is 75 vitamins, minerals, botanicals, live cultures, and further whole food sourced ingredients. It's basically vitamins, and I'm rubbish at taking vitamins, and I'm rubbish at eating things with loads of vitamins in. So I have my greens every morning. What's in the box? What? I've ordered a Jesse Mark II. Uh, what does it even mean? There's no such thing as that. It's, it's a Jesse Mark II. It's a new improved you <laughs> that I've ordered. Oh my goodness. What is it? Why is there a new me? It's a new you. Tell you what, I can't get it out that way, Jess. Let's get it out this way. This is Jesse, Mark II. <laughs> oh wow, he looks he looks good! You wouldn't even know it's a new improved model. Well, let's let's see whether this one's better behaved. Jesse, who's the boss? Me! I think I've got a faulty one. Um, what we really had in the box, instead of a Jesse Mark II, which would have been lovely, we have these new folding guitar stools. And this is Jesse sitting on all three of them. Exciting times. Right, Jess, we got to tidy up in here before we go. Saturday night, and it's an absolute mess. So I decided before we go home that we would just put this new camera arm up. Small rig does it again with the most amazing little light source and camera arm 
that's going to sit up there permanently so I can film my desk and have a good light. Oh, I've taken my hat off. That was, that was unwise. It's time to get the little monster home. Um, unfortunately, he'll be back tomorrow and he says he's taken over the vlog. So, good luck with that, viewers. Ooh.